Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Noodle Film Review. Today we're looking at a Japanese classic, um, a monster classic called The Guardian of the Universe and it's a Gromara film. Um, now if you're not sure what Gromara is, he is a very famous Japanese monster, uh, very similar to a Godzilla. Uh, but Gamora is, <clears throat> whereas Godzilla sort of resembled a dinosaur, um, Gamora sort of resembles like a giant turtle. Um, so uh, the film sort of starts off in at sea, where we see like this boat, and they're, they're sort of like um, they're transporting some sort of chemicals and nuclear chemicals across the sea. Uh, and there's like we're on the boat that's sort of like watching, keeping an eye that nothing happens to this other boat. But this boat with the chemicals and it hits something, um, and it seems to appears to be like a sort of like a an island that sort of appeared out of nowhere out of the base of the sea, and it's now risen to the top. And so all panic stations sort of kick in, and they're sort of like trying to investigate what's going on and. They're trying to see if any's been any sort of radiation leaks, um, but they said they can't see any. Um, <clears throat> and while this is all going on, um, on on dry land, we join like a a sort of a couple of girls. One of the young girls is quite a, um, sort of like important to the story. Who she's like an artist who draws all these sort of. Um, drawings and stuff like that and they're walking around like an aquarium and at that zoo we have a, a chap there meeting with a, a, a female sort of doctor scientist telling her that there's a nearby island that's been attacked by some giant birds <laughs> so um she she goes mm, there is some you know it doesn't seem true or anything like that so He's asking her to go to the island with her so he can show her what he means. She decides to actually go to the island with him. And when we get to the island, we see all this sort of devastation where all these sort of buildings have been wrecked and all this kind of thing. And she's saying, oh, a bird could not have done this. This is not doing of a bird. Only people can. And and then she sees this huge uh, mountain of like bird poop, um, which kind of looks a little bit like ice cream mixed with chewing gum. <laughs> it's bizarre. Anyway, she sort of sticks her hand in there uh, and digs out some sort of pen and something that's in there. She finds out because there's a professor that's working on the island, and she finds out it's his sort of like his pen and his glasses are inside this poop. So he's obviously been eaten by these huge birds. Uh, they go off um, into the, the sort of jungle to have a little look around. And while they're doing that, back at the, back at the scene and our mysterious island, um, they decide to go on to this island to have a little look at it. They climb on it and see where it's come from. So they go on to the, they they sort of get their little boat rowing boats and go over to this island and they go on to it and they start looking at it thinking this is really strange sort of like material almost volcanic and they find all these sort of strange sort of symbol like shaped stones in there as well on the islands and they start digging them out meanwhile back in our island on our sort of hunt in the jungle they sort of come across this bird and it looks like a ginormous kite you know, and anyway, sort of, sort of flies over, and this is our monster, okay? So this is our monster that's uh, in the film. So uh, the girl doesn't want them to kill it. She goes, don't try and kill it, because it's only going to come down and, and kill everybody here. So she tries to pursue where to see where the bird's going, and then they see in, like, a silhouette of night um, that there's more than one. There's, like, about a f three or four of them. Um, meanwhile, back on the boat, uh, on the little island, they're, they're, they're sort of digging up all these sort of stones and stuff on this island. And then all of a sudden, it starts to move. 
and they can feel the heartbeat coming, pulse coming through it. So they just don't know what's going on. And then the island sort of breaks up into little bits and something comes out. We don't see it yet. But meanwhile, back on dry land, the, the girl that's, that was on the island with the bird is having a meeting with all these kind of top brass sort of like, and the plan is to try and capture these giant birds to see what's, what they are, and, you know, and sort of like do tests on them. So they sort of come up with a plan to use um, a football ground as a trap because the football ground has got like a, a closing roof over it. And they've also discovered, because there was a clip when the girl's in the helicopter and the uh, the birds are flying by, she uses her... her um, camera and the flash sort of startles the bird so they don't like lights bright lights so they got all these sort of lights fixed up in this sort of football stadium as well as these soldiers and stuff like that and they lay all this sort of meat down onto the, the ground inside the football stand to try and attract these birds which are on their way by the way I don't know how they know to go there but they're on their way to this football ground and meanwhile in the harbour we sort of see rumblings coming through the water of this other creature that's broken out from this island. So these birds then arrive um, at the football ground and they go, go in to try and eat all this sort of meat and there's all these lights going on and they're trying to capture these birds and she wants them to close the roof because all three of them are inside the stadium eating all this sort of meat that's been put on the ground. And so she wants them to shut the roof. So as they do that, out in the bay steps uh, Grimora, uh, Gamora, and we see him for the first time. And he is quite an impressive sight. He is huge. You know, he's as big as Godzilla. And we sort of see him rising from the water onto dry land. And because he's so big, he starts walking across the dock area in the bay, and he's sort of like breaking everything, got walking through buildings and all this kind of thing, because he's, you know, he's huge. And he's also making his way to the football ground. Um, so all this is going on. And meanwhile, in the city, all the sort of um, Japanese people are, like, running around in terror from Grimara and sort of, like, uh, the, the army and stuff don't know what to do because he's too big to do anything to so anyway, so they they allow him to do what he wants to do, and that's make his way towards the football ground. Um, and when as he arrives at the football ground, um, he tries to get into it to get to these birds, but they're not dead, and they sort of send off this radioactive radio waves at him to attack him. And that's all I'm going to tell you. So what on earth is going on? It's an absolute confusing film. It really is, but... All these sort of films are, all these sort of Japanese monster films are, and they're all pretty much the same. Um, the Grimara films and the Godzilla films, they all come out the same sort of era in the 50s and, and then were remade later on and remade again and remade again. And they're all based on Japanese sort of manga, sort of like old, old manga um, comic books. So, and they're all pretty much the same. You've got this terrifying creatures and then you've got one other monster who's like a hero who in this case is Gramira. so what's going to happen is he going to save the day or do they realize that Gramira's there for the birds and not trying to hurt or kill anyone um are they going to side up with him to try and get rid of these dangerous giant flying reptile like prehistoric birds you need to watch it and find out what do I think of Gamora? It's great fun. It's an amazing fun movie. Um, this one that I've got here is from a box set um, that I have of the Gamora films, which is this. And it contains like um, one, two, it's got about four or five movies in it. Um, so I, I was thinking of doing a whole week of, of Gamora, but I just don't know if you can sort of stomach that because... They are gonna. They're all pretty much very, very similar. So I thought I'd just do the one. 
Uh, the pluses, the transfer looks really nice. There is quite a bit of um, grain in the film, which is surprising because it's not that old of a film. I think it's a 90s sort of film, so it, it's not um, that old. Um, but it's still got quite a bit of grain, but then it has got some really nice clear bits in, in the film too. Um, and and, and Gamora looks incredible. Looks really, really amazing. Looks really plasticky and toy-like and stupid, which is incredible. Uh, the minus of the of the film is a bit of a confusing sort of... Well, it's not confusing story. There's a giant monster bird and Grimara's come to help save the town. That's the story. And that's... They try to make it deeper and it makes it just confusing. And they it just, just keep it basic and it's a lot more easier to follow. Like the sort of Godzilla films... Where you did, they weren't overcomplicated. You knew what was going on. This they're trying to evolve, do these experiments and tests, capture this bird. These scientists get involved, and it's just like just keep it straightforward because that takes away a little bit of the fun. I'm going to score the film a great film, and I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. Really cool film. Absolutely dead chuff to have this box set. It is really cool. There is another box set available, Gamora, which contains the earlier sort of 50s films. Or you can buy a box set that has all of them in. But that goes for absolutely stupid money. You know, it's like £160, £70. Pounds. Um, so, yeah, I, I've just got this set because it's a more sort of like modern version of the film. So it looks doesn't look as... As bad as the early ones, although it's still as bad. Uh, Grimara looks awful sometimes, and sometimes he's got his two giant like teeth, like, Ooh, so, and he's just got his eyes that just like don't move and like this. It's just so funny, but it's still cool at the same time. And I really, really enjoy these sort of Japanese horror films. I think uh, Japanese monster horror films. I think they're amazing. Grimara, um, uh, this film here. What, what's it called again? The Guardians of the Universe. 8 out of 10. Definitely worth a watch if you love Japanese monster flicks like Godzilla. Any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know down below what you thought of it. It's just a fun movie. It's a popcorn movie. It's to sit down with your mates and have a bit of a giggle and laugh at the sort of effects and, and the creature effects. It's, you know, seeing this sort of like big plastic dinosaur walking through this town destroying all the buildings and people running away scared and all these explosions going off because he's hitting electricity wires and stuff it, it's just fun it's just really really cool and this is exactly what it is and if you just look at it like that and stick to the simple premise of the story giant uh, dinosaur birds Gamora's come to save the day and that's it and that's my review of Gamora Thanks for watching, guys. Look after yourselves. Don't be scared of giant monsters. Look after one another, and I really hope I see you all soon.